Hey guys, and welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. I'm your host, J.A. Curtis, and you're watching the Vue.js Fundamentals series. And in this series, we're going from absolute beginner to a more advanced intermediate level of knowledge of Vue.js. Now, this video is kind of getting to the end of our directives, and we're gonna be learning a simple to use, but very powerful directive called V-4. This is a... Um, a way to use a for loop inside of our HTML using Vue.js. It's really easy to do, but you're gonna see that it's really, really powerful as well. You'll be using this a lot in your real world projects, so make sure you pay attention and uh, stay tuned. All right, so um, here we are in our basic application. If you want this code, make sure you go down to the description, go to GitHub, move over. I think you guys have the idea by now, but download the kid from the code from GitHub, and we're now gonna be in folder part five, okay? So this is a basic application that we've had for everything else. Well, now let's take a look at the V4 um, directive. Now V4 is gonna be really useful whenever you wanna loop through an object that you don't know if you're gonna have one object in this array, or, or sorry, one item in this array, or you could have 100 items in this array. And that's the value of V4, is V4 allows you to loop through that array or loop through that object until you run out of items. And so you can have an unknown number of items and it will always display correctly. Okay, so let's go ahead and make an unordered list here, just so you can guys can kinda of see the power that it has. Okay, now the most obvious example here, just the easiest to understand, is a to-do list. Let's say you have a to-do list, and people can add items to the to-do to the to-do list, or they could remove them. So you don't know at any given time how many items they're going to have in their to-do list, and that's why a loop would be helpful. So let's go through real quick, and let's actually create a to-do object. With that to-do object, we will then go through and loop through it to show all the to-dos in that item. Okay, so let's go ahead and make an object. We're going to call it to-dos and we're gonna set it equal to an array. And inside of that array, we will go ahead and say the text of the item is um, learn view. The second item will be, the text will be um, like the video. And then the third item will be subscribe to dev marketer perfect okay so now we've got um, one of our the objects inside of our data is called to do's it's got three items in it inside of that we've got an attribute called text that you know represents a text of each to do so let's go through here and inside of our unordered list now we can make a list item just like that this would normally you know display the uh, to do like that, right? That's what you'd want, but you don't know how many you're gonna have. So that's why you would use V4. Now V4 creates a for loop, basically. It'll start at the beginning of your array and then loop through this until it runs out of items, one time for every item. So you can do V4 and then equals, and you're gonna tell it what to go through. So you would go through to do's, right? That's the object we're trying to go through. Now the way this works though, you're going to want to set the, um, uh, you know, the, the loop object first so we're going to call it to do in to do's all right and so that will basically go to the to do's object the second item and then it will call each item to do all right so now when we go inside of here and we want to render the item we can call it to do and use the dot syntax to find the correct um, attribute for this uh, to do item all right so this should now list all three of our items so let's go over here and let's um, head back over to Chrome and refresh. Got to get over to part five. And there we go. Hello view world. And now we've got all three of our items. So now the other thing we can do is we could add, um, let's give it an ID number of one, an ID number of two, and then an ID number of three. Okay, and then inside of here, what we could do is we could do, let's real quick do style equals none. Oh, sorry, <laughs> display none. All right, so we don't see, um, or sorry, I don't know what I'm doing here. List style t 
type is none, okay? That way we don't get the bullets at the end. So let's go through and just take a look at this real quick. Refresh, now we don't get any bullets, all right? Now let's go ahead and just put our number in there. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to do brackets and we're going to do todo.id and we'll do a, a parentheses, a space, and then the to do text, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, move back over to Chrome, refresh, and now you can see that we list the items one, two, and three. Of course, if we change these, it'll obviously update in the browser as well. Okay? So this is item four, two, six, whatever. You guys get the idea. So you can add as much, I, uh, you can add as much information to each of these objects that you want, and then you can, you know, render it in whatever template you want it to render in, and it's going to loop through however many times it needs to. So if we get rid of one of these. Then there we go, you're down to two. If you wanted to duplicate these, you would get just, you know, that many more. So let's go ahead and just do a whole bunch. But you guys, I think, get the idea. Oops, did we break it? We broke it because of our commas. There we go. Now it works, okay? So now you go through all of them and you guys kind of see the idea. So that's powerful. Um, you can do for loops inside of Laravel, uh, or sorry, inside of Vue.js, and, um, and it can be very, very handy. Now the other thing you can do is you can also loop through just a count. So for example, you can actually tell it now to render X number of times. So you can use V4 for multiple um, reasons. Now it's kind of silly in here, but you can't actually just do V4 count. You have to do V4 count in count, which is kind of funny, um, but basically you're telling it to run 10 times, okay? So it should run 10 times, um, but you kind of have to do it this way, which is kind of weird. Um, but let's go ahead and just refresh. You can see that it renders it 10 times. Of course, you can render it a thousand times and now you're gonna get it a thousand times. And you can see I scroll all the way down till we get to a thousand, okay? So if you really wanted to, we could actually also output the count number. So we can say, hey, count, refresh, and now you can see item number one all the way down to item number 1000, okay? So that should give you kind of some ideas on how you can use V4 in many different ways.